Hello Aquarius, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the TarotEmpress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading. It's going to be focused on your love life. So let's begin. What's happening in Aquarius's love life? Okay, so I see from this particular card that there's changes coming into your love life during this period of time. This could be changes that could uh, be life-changing. I'm just getting this energy of where there's something huge that could be happening, especially with these particular cards. Now, let's see. The first energy is presenting the notion that for some of you, there is something going on in your love life. There might have been some stagnation. There might have been certain things that were just not moving along. And this might have been making you feel very impatient, okay? So I feel like there's this other energy that's coming to the forefront. And it's trying to knock out all these old energies that have been, you know, holding you back from having happiness. I feel like with this particular energy, there is a sense of you reaching towards something that you've always wanted okay and it's potentially presenting the notion that you can accomplish something during this time especially with the individual that you're dealing with especially if you're able to recognize where that opportunity lies for you okay because I feel like the key word is being able to recognize it when it comes along okay I'm also picking up from this particular energy that you've dealt with a lot of challenges you know along the way especially when it comes to this individual, okay? So let's see. The next energy I'm looking at is showing to me that, you know, there have been certain things that have been going on in your love life that may have often confused you, okay? There might have been things playing out where some of you were really stuck inside of your head. You felt as if, you could have went in one path versus the other path. All of those energies are coming to the forefront. What I'm also sensing from this energy is that there's been a lot of investment into possibilities and what could have been, you know, that sort of energy. It's like you have this desire inside of your head, you play it out inside of your mind. But then you also have to deal with the reality of what if you actually do that? What is it going to accomplish? What is it going to bring into your world? Okay, so that is one thing that you've been struggling with during this time, especially because, you know, if you choose the wrong path, it could result in something that you're not looking to, forward towards, you know, especially with this individual. Now, I sense here from this next energy there's a sense of wanting to do something different. And some of you could be feeling this impulse to explore your options and to see, you know, how the dice falls when it comes to the situation. So I feel like a lot of you are in that mode right now where possibilities are being presented to you. And if you go down one road, it can take you to a certain destination versus another road, etc. But I'm seeing this element of potential communication and it's coming from the desire to test the water to see you know where you 
really stand with this uh, individual that you're dealing with. But let's have a look more closely at these energies. For those of you that are interested in learning how to read tarot, check out the courses and the books in the description box below. So also a good idea for you guys to watch your moon rising and your Venus. Yeah, I'm seeing the possibility of an opportunity being presented for you and this individual, but the difficulty here is being able to decide which is the best option to take. I feel like someone left in the past and it created a lot of frustration, a lot of disappointment, but now you feel as if, you know, your intuition is trying to lead you out of this situation, trying to lead you out of this uh, difficulty that you've been experiencing. And so this change could be a breakthrough for some of you. I feel like many of you have so much going on in your love life. I feel like there's so many things that are occurring in your personal life and it's surrounding this individual. It could be that for some of you, you're trying to make a decision with regard to this person, but you're waiting for the right opportunity. A part of you wants to rush forward, but a part of you is holding back in terms of, you know, either communicating or taking that chance. I feel like there was a period where you really wanted to leap towards this individual, but you also feel very stressed, overwhelmed, very burdened. It feels as if there's a little bit of a fear there. It's a very subtle energy. Yeah. This person that you're dealing with, I feel like you've cared for them for a long time. This is the individual that you want to spend the rest of your life with. I definitely do get the impression that you feel as if this individual could make all your dreams come true. I'm going to look at the energy of this individual in a moment. Okay, so I'm seeing here that what's holding you back is not knowing how they will respond to what you have to say. I feel like some of you are still heartbroken about certain things that have happened. Perhaps this individual said certain things to you that made you feel a sense of sadness you could be fearful that this individual might react rather harshly towards your energy. Yeah, I feel like when it comes to this energy, there's certain elements here that you want to put an end to, and that could be revolving around paranoia or fear that this individual is being deceptive or someone is being deceptive in the situation. And I feel like, you know, when it comes to the Aquarian energy right now, you could be feeling very suspicious over what this individual is doing. You know, you could be wanting to clear the air to try to get an idea of where you stand when it comes to them. I feel like that is very much in the back of your mind and you might be scared right now that if you reach out to this individual, what if they tell you that they're involved with someone else or that there's, you know, um, no chance that they're going to give you another opportunity. So I feel like that is also playing a role here. Let's look at the energy of this individual. Yeah, I'm picking up this energy from this person 
And what I'm seeing here is that they're thinking about the future right now and trying to understand, you know, where do they position themselves in relation to you, okay? So I get the impression that you are on this person's mind, but I also feel as if, you know, this individual is trying to assess certain things during this period of time. Let's clarify these energies. I see the energy of someone that walked away. This could be you or this could be the individual you're dealing with. But this is definitely a part of their frame of mind right now where they're thinking about that departure or the last conversation or perhaps what happened you know, between the two of you. There might have been conflict in this situation, and I'm sensing here that sometimes this individual can allow paranoia to get the better of them. There's definitely that sense where they hesitate a lot because they get caught up inside of their heads. For those of you that are unaware, there is an extended reading. You can find the link in the description box below. I feel like this person is feeling stuck and not knowing what to do when it comes to this relationship with you. I also feel like they feed a lot into paranoia and it's hard for them to express these things to you. You know, for you to be aware of the fact that they have anxieties, they have fears as well. That's something I feel like this individual doesn't like to reveal a lot. So let's see. There's this energy of conflict that I'm picking up from the cards. It also feels as if for some of you, there could be power struggles happening in the situation between you and this individual. Perhaps they feel as if, you know, if they don't give in to you, they hold on to power. If they walk away from you, they feel like they are in the position of an advantage right now. So that's what I'm picking up from this individual. But let's see. Let's see one more energy. Hope you guys are safe during this quarantine and lockdown and everything going on. So let's see. Yeah, I'm seeing here from the situation that one of the big problems right now is the fact that the two of you are not talking because of what has happened in the past. I'm also picking up this energy where there's a lot of disappointment over someone's actions and behaviors. It feels as if it's a power struggle at this point. It feels as if someone is trying to hold on to power. And that's why they're hesitating to reach out or hesitating to uh, communicate. I also feel like your energy wants to leap forward and take a chance and perhaps uh, to uh, break the ice. But I also sense that you are very fearful that this individual might not respond or might not uh, give in to what you have to say. Okay. So in the extended reading, I'm going to be exploring the energy of this individual in more detail. I'll also be looking at what's the right way to move forward when it comes to this individual you're dealing with there's a lot of stress here about what happened between the two of you i also feel like there's a lot of love here as well you know but i'm sensing it because there's clouded judgments and an inability to make up one's mind nothing is really you know, moving along, I feel like there's a discussion that has to be had, but, you know, approaching it in the wrong way or doing it at the wrong time could be detrimental to this connection, especially if someone is trying to hold on to power and someone is going in with the etiquette of just being, you know, a free 
spirits, okay? So I'm going to be exploring this energy in more detail in an extended reading and providing advice and telling you what is the best way to, you know, go along in terms of this relationship. Have a wonderful day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.